welcome dear students we can start with next topic ac waveform terminology we have studied about ac waveform that is alternating waveform which is having both positive and negative half cycle next we can see what are the different terminologies in ac waveform this is the figure of an alternating waveform we know that alternating waveform is having both positive and negative half cycles so we have studied the equation for alternating waveform as e equal to em sin omega t em is the maximum value which occur at 90 degree and zero which occur at zero and 180 and 360 degree alternating voltage terminology so this is the uh, equation for waveform of instantaneous value of em of so instantaneous equation is given by e equal to em sin omega t the magnitude of waveform has taken at any point of time that is if this is the waveform if you are taking the magnitude at any point suppose at this point it is about pi by 2 ana so the magnitude is em if you are taking pi by 4 then corresponding magnitude is some other value so at a particular instant what will be the magnitude that is known as instantaneous value at the time ile endana ende magnitude it is not constant dc anengil this is a constant wave but for an ac it is not constant it depend upon the time period for different time the magnitude will be a different value that is known as instantaneous value next is cycle when a waveform reaches a complete set of positive and negative value so this is positive and this is negative value so when a waveform reaches complete set of positive and negative value means this is complete one cycle then again the second cycle repeat at the same point so this is second cycle this is known as cycle waveform reaches a complete set of positive and negative values known as one complete cycle one complete cycle corresponding to 360 so this period is 2 pi that is 360 degrees this time period next time period time taken to complete one cycle so how much time it take to complete one cycle that is known as time period we know that one complete cycle is 360 that is how this one complete cycle occur when the coil in between two magnet there is a coil and this coil start rotating from 0 to 360 degree so that 0 to 360 degree during that 0 to 360 an emf is generated that is one complete rotation of that coil is one cycle and time taken for complete rotation of the coil that is known as time period next frequency frequency is 1 by time period inverse of time period is the frequency peak value peak value means from the reference what will be the maximum amplitude that is the peak value of sinusoidal wave maximum value of sine waves positive or negative cycle this is positive peak this is negative peak em is the peak value next peak to peak value peak to peak value is measured between positive to positive peak to peak so 2 times em is the peak to peak value peak value is em peak to peak value is em plus em that is 2 times em next phase phase is defined as position of wave at fraction of time period this is one complete time period and what is the position of wave at a particular time period so what is the position of plus em it is at pi by 2 so the phase of plus em is pi by 2 phase of minus em is 3 pi by 2 so the time period at which the emf is occurring is phase phase difference phase difference between two is occurring between two wave having same frequency and refer to same point in time so phase difference means there should be two values so suppose uh, in this figure so this way see this wave this is one voltage wave and second one is current wave voltage wave started at 0 degree but current wave started 30 degree after the voltage wave see the starting point of both way there is a phase difference between 30 that is known as phi the phase difference between two wave starting position of two wave is known as phase difference or the time lag between starting position of two wave is known as phase difference here it second wave start 30 degree after the first wave so the phase difference equation can be written as a of t equal to a max 
sin omega t plus or minus 5. So, this will be first equation is v sin omega t. So, second equation is a max. Though, so, if it is current, i max into sin omega t plus 30. That will be the second equation. Voltage equation Vm sin omega t anangil. Current equation v Im sin omega t plus 30. Na that is 5 phase difference is 30. So, this can be written as in form of phase angle. Phase angle here magnitude is V max. And phase angle is 5. So, we can write this as A angle 5. Amplitude angle theta. This is the representation of phase angle. Next, there are three types of component, in two types, in-phase and out-of-phase component. In-phase component means if the two waves, these are two voltage waves, having different magnitude, both start at the same point. So, instantaneous value of V1 is Vm1 sin omega t, instantaneous value of V2 is Vm2 sin omega t. So, there is no phase shift. That is known as in-phase component, where the two waves are to be in phase when this wave should reach the maximum and minimum at zero at uh, zero at the same time. Here, at this point, both will be having zero value. At this point, both will be having the maximum value. Next is out of phase component. The two waves are said to be out of phase when they do not reach maximum or minimum at the same time. That we have seen here in phase difference. Here, maximum occur at this point minimum occur maximum occur for current at another angle here minimum occur for voltage at zero and here minimum occur for current at 30 degree so that is known as out of phase component and it is divided into two types two types leading phase and lagging phase since zero this is the reference phase if the waveform start at a five degree behind the zero point that is at this point if they are zero other the total number five distance in Mumbai then a number positive phase started so that is known as positive phase starting in a total number so we can write this as voltage is if the here is a voltage wave vm sin omega t and this if this is the current wave this can be written as im sin omega t plus 5 there will be a voltage wave here that is not shown here starting from zero if the current wave start five degree earlier from the voltage wave then that is known as leading phase i am sin omega t plus five here the current wave start after five degree from the voltage wave or find the zero reference that is which is written as i am sin omega t minus five after five it is starting here before five degree it is starting so that is known as leading phase and lagging phase thank you